All right, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you all how we can create a list of objects from a custom class of ours. In the last video, I showed you all how we can create a list of strings, but what if we would like to create a list of players to keep track of the amount of players in our game and their names? So let's create a list. List, then we need angle brackets and the data type of the object we would like to store within our list. I would like to store player objects and I'll name this list players because we're keeping track of the players players equals new list angle brackets our data type again player parentheses semicolon so we now have a list that can store player objects so let's instantiate some player objects and i have a field set up username you can also set up getters and setters too if you prefer so let's create some player objects player and we'll call this player player one equals new player but we need to pass in a username as an argument Let's say that this is Chad, and I'll create maybe two more players. So player one, player two, player three. Player two will be, what about Steve and Karen? Okay, now to add our player objects to our list, type the name of the list, dot add, and then pass in the name of the object. Players dot add player one, then do the same thing with player two and player three. Then I'll use a for each loop to display all these. For each, the data type is player, player in players. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to console.write line each player. But since we're displaying each object directly, what's going to be displayed is the namespace plus the data type of our object. We can access the username field and that will display each player's username, or we can overwrite the two string method. So we have Chad, Steve, and Kieran, or we can override the two string method. So let's try that too. Public override two string. And I'm going to return username. So then when I use console.writeLine, I can just type in the object's name. So we have Chad, Steve, and Karen. Now, another thing that you can do when we instantiate these player objects, we can do so anonymously. So within the add method of our list players, we can simply just pass in new player, then pass in a name. And then we don't necessarily need to create a name for each of these objects. So I'm going to pass in new player Steve and new player Karen. So this is optional, but I like to create anonymous objects. It's less work. So we should have our three players, Chad, Steve, and Kieran. So yeah, that's how to add objects to a list within the angle brackets. You just list the type of object that you would like to store within your list. So yeah, that's a list of objects in C Sharp. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.